today I install a K-Tune short shifter on my Civic. All right guys, I'm sure you were probably expecting to see Rob today. Uh, I know we all just watched his uh, coilover install, which is totally awesome. I cannot wait to see how his car drives on track. But more importantly, Rob's wife just had um, their first baby boy over the weekend. That is why I'm cutting in to let you guys know that he is not gonna be on the channel for a little while, I'm assuming. So, uh, you know, he's gotta take care of his baby boy and uh, I totally get it. So congratulations to Rob and, um, you know, we're gonna be a little bit uh, chaotic on the, on the channel for a little while. I know you guys have been used to every Monday we've had videos, but our cars are coming to a point where they don't need as many parts. And um, so we're gonna try to work around that and see what we can do to make content. But as of right now, this is where we're at. You're gonna see my video today. I don't really have a lot of plans for the car because you know the car has a lot of parts already. And I just want to go racing so you know it's all about timing and we're both really busy with our lives and our jobs and now with his kid so it's all about balance not sure when you'll see rob's car again but you will see it again enjoy my video today but anyway enjoy the video let's get back to it i have had a k-tune short shifter for the b d series engines in my garage since like black friday i've been putting off installing it because i have the Z6 transmission um, that I bought when Rob got his Z6 engine. And I'm waiting, because I was gonna try to put it all in together. Put the new transmission in, put the short shifter on, all that stuff at one time. I've come to the decision where I'm not gonna be doing that, because I'm gonna hold off on the Z6 transmission install, because I'm going to try to hopefully rebuild it. What I wanna do is hopefully do a uh, new final drive on the Z6 transmission and also do a hopefully some kind of LSD limited slip differential in the Z6. So I'm gonna be hoping to try to work with some sponsors on this to see if they can help me get those parts so I can do a rebuild on the Z6. So that's where I'm at with the transmission, but I've had this K-Tune shifter and I've had a Circuit Hero and a Dimes solid aluminum bushings. So I'm gonna install that stuff today. You're gonna to see that. First, I wanted to show you guys, after my radiator install, everybody was yelling at me that I should have installed the fan that I took off, left it on, and reconnected it to the other fan to have two fans. So what I did is that. So look, uh, cut the wire uh, harness a connector off here of the it was, this is the AC fan and then um, just wired up some new wires to this connector here which uh, switches on the fans I'll show you guys now both of them working decided to do that after everyone was like duh 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 do that I still don't think it's a big deal to do with that kind of mod because the fans don't do anything while the car is running. If it's moving and air is pushing through the radiator, the fans don't do anything. So it definitely will help when I come off the track. If I have to stop all of a sudden, then yes, that will be very helpful for me um, and the engine, cool it down faster. But with the D-Series, I don't know if it's a big deal to have two fans, but I did it. You know, everybody was like, do it. So easy peasy, it's all so I have a special request. I actually did what you guys wanted, but now I drove the car after I did the short shifter mod and parked it and the fans wouldn't come on. So the car started to overheat. Um, so I need some help. I don't know what I did wrong. The fuse is fine. Maybe I blew the relay. I don't know. So please give me some tips. I don't really, I'm not really a wiring guy. Um, I don't know. So let me, let me know what you think. And um, that would super help me out. And uh, I appreciate it. On with Joe. Next few things, check out our stickers. We got two stickers for sale. If you guys are new out there, go to our website, refine-movement.com. Get some stickers. You can see them here on my car. You have the red logo sticker. Bing, bing, bing. And then right back here, you have the wrench, race, refine, repeat sticker. 
Six bucks shipped anywhere in the world, so go pick those up. So let's get to the K-Tuned install. So the first thing I did was disconnect my exhaust pipe from the header. Uh, it just gives more clearance to pull the shifter out. So I um, work on that and then it's just easier to pull the shifter bar off the car. I don't remove the other bar with the bitch pin because it's not necessary. So I take uh, these two bolts out on the end of the shifter. You can see I have the polyurethane bushing there that I'm going to replace later with the solid Circuit Hero bushing. Don't forget to take off your shifter knob and uh, any shifter boot or anything if you have uh, internal panels or interior panels. I take off this rubber grommet, I'm keeping it for later, and then the whole shifter falls through. Kind of push it through the hole, and then it's disconnected on that side, and it's got to go to the opposite side and get that disconnected. Uh, I pull off the polyurethane bushing while it's on the car here. Take off this rubber grommet all the way, save that for later. Then I'm disconnecting the actual shifter from the shifter rod. I need to clamp on to one side. Now it's disconnected from the other side, so now you can get it uh, completely off the car by removing this bolt off the transmission. You can see I have another polyurethane bushing in here as well that I'm going to replace with the dimes bushing, solid bushing. So now the bar is off. I want to disconnect the shifter itself from the rod. Um, so take these two nuts on the top or the bottom of the shifter rod. Just gotta, you gotta clamp the top and pull off the bottom nut, and then, then the whole thing is gonna come off. There's two nuts on here. you save all these nuts and bolts for later you got to put it all back so keep those in a safe spot and then you can feed the shifter bar or rod or whatever you want to call it shifter through this is where I found that this rubber grommet on the end of the shifter is actually busted so you can see that right there you gotta pull this metal plate off first you gotta keep that for later. All this stuff you need for later because you're gonna reinstall it on the K-Tune shifter. I actually had to buy a new rubber bushing to uh, or a new rubber uh, grommet. So I, I had to order that from Honda. So if your car is old like mine, you will definitely need one of these. And then inside, there's also a plastic bearing that goes around the shifter. You need to keep that or get a new one. You'll see it in a second when I pull it all off here. I just went ahead and cleaned everything up real quick with some purple power. It's got a lot of years of grease and dirt on it so it's always good to just freshen it up a little bit. All right, so I'm getting this polyurethane bushing out to get that ready for the new bushing. Now I'm gonna actually start on the opposite side with my Circuit Hero solid bushing. Now I think Circuit Hero is a great brand. They have a, a lot of good products, but I'm gonna say this is a little bit outdated because there are a lot of guys on the market now making this same bushing, but it's actually split in half. So it, it will fit over the shifter rod. It makes it a lot easier to install. I kind of wish I would have bought that. 
But anyway, you have to unflare this end to get this bushing on, which is a lot of work for one. And then the bushing itself does not want to actually slide on. It took a lot of work and a lot of pounding to get it on. So I used my vise to unflare the end, which actually worked pretty well. And then I had to uh, wiggle on this bushing and it was very, very difficult. So I would say make sure you get a uh, go around and I think Dimes makes this bushing as well and they um, it's split in half so it just fits over each side. So I'm gonna bust this out here. This is the Dimes bushing I got for the opposite side for the transmission side and this just pops in it's super, super easy. Now I need to get the K-Tune shifter kind of prepped for install. So you want to take this gold ball off. You got to unscrew it all the way up the top. Once you have it off there, you can go ahead and start reassembling everything. I have my new uh, grommet, rubber grommet I got from Honda. You're gonna wanna slide this on to the actual shifter rod first, pulling it all the way down. It's a little bit of a tight fit, so uh, just work with it. Then you wanna put your shifter ball back on I'm having it at the shortest setting, which is actually having the ball at the as high as it will go on the shifter rod. I wanted the shortest throw possible because I wanted to have it as tall as possible. And the taller your shifter is, the longer the throw will be. So make sure you lock down that ball and then I'm going to reinstall this bearing, plastic bearing onto the gold ball itself. I'm putting some grease back in this because it's pretty old and I think it'll just help it because it had grease before from Honda. So just some general all-purpose grease. And you just wanna try to fit this onto the middle of the gold ball. This is where your shifter is actually going to rotate and move forward and backward. It's on this ball itself. So get that in the middle like I have here and then you want to pull the boot rubber grommet up over the bearing. It takes a little bit of work because it's very snug so just keep working at it. And there it is, that's all put back together. Except I need to put on this one last plate. So I go ahead and slide it up from the bottom and it's gonna fit in the groove in the middle of that rubber grommet that you can see right there in the middle. And that's that. You wanna make sure that the, the flat spot on the top of the shifter uh, rod is facing towards the bushing. So get everything lined up and back in correctly and then you want to put your screws with your nuts back on.
I just used a wrench and my socket to get everything tightened down. I don't remember the size. Sorry. And then we can start the reinstall process. I install this end back on the transmission with the bolt. And then I'm going to install the shifter onto the shifter rod. There's a, a bolt set that comes with washers, so you install those two little cup washers inside the shifter and then push the rod over top. And then you can fit the bolt through and put the nut on the opposite side. And everything will be connected. You just gotta tighten it all down. And then put your screws back through your washer up top. Make sure you reflare that um, end uh, to keep your bushing on. And then attach the rest of the shifter inside the car. There's a lot of Allen keys and adjustments that I'm doing here just to get the height I want. It's pretty tall. I can make it a little bit taller. I kind of lowered it a little bit. I'll probably adjust it more once I get to the track, but here is the side-by-side -side view of the stock shifter and the K-tuned. Definitely a shorter throw, and it's very, very stiff, which I'm happy about, And um, but it's longer than the stock shifter, which all of it really worked out um, exactly how I expected, which is awesome because a lot of times with aftermarket parts, they don't. So I think it really came out good. I'm excited to get it out on the track, test it out, and see if I need to do any more adjustments on the height. But the throw itself is great. All right, guys, so that is it. The install is done. I'm really happy with the feel of it. I think it's very solid now, especially with those bushings. And it's a little taller, which is good for me because I'm just a bigger guy. So I think it's just like helpful for me to have a the short shifter so I can lengthen it without having the actual throws get really any longer. Especially with K-Tunes shifter. K-Tunes products, they don't sponsor me, but I've used a couple of their things and now, and they're, they're quality stuff. You guys should check them out. I really enjoy their products because you get what you pay for. And especially in the automotive industry and aftermarket stuff, you get cheap stuff, you're gonna break your short shifter, especially. I'm sure you guys have seen YouTube videos of guys racing and their shifter snaps in half. So I don't expect that from this. This is a quality piece and I'm excited to go racing in it and uh, see what we, we can do. So hopefully we'll be getting to the track. Uh, it's hard to say now, uh, you know, Rob's got a baby coming. We're all excited for him and so, We'll see how it goes. We'll get to the track soon. I got two track days I want to do this year uh, at the firm. Hopefully we'll be going maybe in a month or two and uh, we'll see how it goes. Just depends on his car and everything that's going on. As of now, my car is ready to go. I might do a few things in the coming weeks since I got some downtime, but car is looking good. May do some uh, interior mods, maybe remove this uh, sound deadening with some dry ice type deal. Not sure what else, so just want to race. You know, we've been doing installs and for so long and really haven't raced that much. That's what all I want to do is get this car on the track. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, I know there's a lot of new guys out there watching. Please, please subscribe and go buy some stickers and go support RHD Performance and see you next time.